ओके फ्रेंड्स वी डिस्कस द हिस्टोरिकल पोलिटिकल एंड सोशल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ एज ऑफ पॉप इन द लास्ट वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो वी कैन डिस्कस अबाउट द लिटरल टेंडेंसी और यू कैन से लिटरल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ एज ऑफ पॉप फ्रॉम सेवनटीन हंड्रेड टू सेवनटीन हंड्रेड फोर्टी फाइव एंड इट इज कॉल्ड द एज ऑफ एलेक्जेंडर पॉप और यू कैन कॉल द एज ऑफ नियो क्लासिकल एज So these are the first literary tendencies in age of prose and desert. Because we we get that up to now that we can in the beginning of style there was in the Shakespearean time drama was in prominent. Then restore uh, sorry in age of Milton or Puritan is epic and poetry. Restoration is once again the epic sorry once again the poetry dominance. But this age is called the age of prose. Because the first time prose was expand and he can dominate in the uh, literary people. Because the second is the rise of novel and rise of periodical essay. And you can say in the second one of the reason in Turk and there was a rise of literary criticism. These are the three uh, novel writing because the you can say the rise of the middle class and. we can say the expansion of the reading public the the class of readers was expand and due to that there was a demand of the public there was a first time in this history the so first time in the pop there was a it is called the age of prose and there's a matthew arnold is there say that it is called the age of prose we have i have to quote it here that in the sense i have to quote it here that matthew arnold in the that was a real real to say that an age 18th century is an age of prose the literature of the period is prosaic in spirit prosaic it means those are the poetry itself written in a yes prosaic style and kavita upon gaddini shri me lakhati hati and that's why we have to last mention the I quote the uh, we remember remind the quotation of John Dryden. We can say that my writing is fitted to the discourse, fitted to the discourse and uh, closest to the prose, uh, unpolished like that the verse. And I can say, Marus, I am here the same way. The prosaic spirit in exhibit a similar coldness and want of coldness. a similar tendency to the shallowness in thought and formality in expression what you want the, the coldness in the thought here is just like the straight forward ideas express in the prose in a poetry and then further we can say that there was a expression of shallowness in thought not the you can say deeper interpretation of the idea in the poetry but shallowness of thought in see thus विचारों की चिंता कौन है? विचारों को विचारों ना पड़े। And lastly, you can say that there was you can use that word formality in expression. An expression is very formal. During that time, you know the poetry, or you can say that during the satire, which is by Alexander Pope and many other right, the style it is a poetic form, but the uh, writing style is a prosy. It is very popular in Shelly in the Prado. And during that time, the rise of the essay, satire, and criticism. And this is provided the you can say that the requirement to necessity of the prose, and it is called the reason because that time they have to they have to come to the reality. There was restoration is called the is of realism. And in the same way, this was continuous follows it. But here they have to apply the logic because criticism is not possible without the reason or wit. And the critical writing, Alexander Pope wrote essay on man. And these are the essay on man and other those are critical work written by the other many other writer. They are required the reason. Okay, second satire. Satire is prominent from the John Dryden. We discuss about Mac Flecken, a personal a masterpiece of personal satire on Thomas Sedgwick. And the satire become the part of during that. Even that Alexander Pope also write down the. Ramp of the law. There was also satire on the two royal 
families and further we can say that Jonathan Swift also writes the Gulliver Travels, a political satire for that those are the politicians of the, their time and addition they have to write down their satire on the contemporary life of the people, life of the peoples. These are the writers, the satire is prominent in that, that time because the uh, mode and manner of the modern manner of the because sophisticated life was totally changed and due to that realize them the writer of the is of pop even the John Alexander Pop himself were the swift Gulliver's travels and addition the essay on the spectator they have to make the satire on the people of the time so the classical is it is called the classic is the is is of pop is also called the neoclassic is of classic is. What is the picture? The, the classic is means the, the great writer of the old period or the dead time. They ought to establish the particular rules and principles of the we can say that a literary work of art. It is called the classic. For example, Greek at the classic period of that, that period of the Achilles Sophocles. Homer, Virgil, these are the great epic poet and great tragedy. They what is the great work in second century BC. Second century BC. In that you can say that they are very territory work and they followed by the modern writer in the 18th century. And that's why it is called the neoclassical. When it is the not classical is of their time because and that's why it is called the neoclassic because they follow the rules and regulation of this ancient Latin and Greek writer. For example, other neoclassical is I have to mention that the reason of Augustus is a classical age of Rome. The King Augustus ruler the place of classical is of Rome. The age of Louis XIV is the classical age of French, France, the age of, and here we can say that age of pop is not the classical age like those of the Homer and Virgil. But we are the follow the form and style of the classical writer of, we can say that Rome or Greek. And that's why we have to mention about that a waltz in 1706. Was he, he spotted. You can spot the walls. You can say that the best of the modern poet in all languages are these that have nearest copied the ancient. The best of this writer of the classical age, they copied the. Copy the ancient near is modernity. They copy the ancient is the that's why it's called the classic is. And you and here even there we mention the Gerson's a famous book, the background of English literature. And in that we have to say about that the hallmark of ancient classical literature is harmonies. Balance between form and substance. What is this? Form and sub the form and subject was a harmonious in the classical literature. In the same way, the neoclassical writer, Pope and these other writer, they have tried to harmonize balance between like classical writer, Homer Virgil, the form and substance in their poetry. That's why it's called the classical classic age. And the last one is the literature of the towns. Gradually the rise of the middle class and most of the Pope and his other guys, Pope, you can say the Pope and Swift and Edison, they are the patronage of the kings, patronage of the court. And that's why they have to write out the right, the literature, what is the literature that concerns with the sophisticated high society or court 
and sometimes the periodical like uh, like uh, periodical assays recharge steam and addition so said addition they have to write on the periodical assay they appeal to the rise of the middle class but there was the most of the literature that concerned with the high class people and in the example of the Alexander Pope the rap of the Lopensia and and uh, and further say that and most of the we can say that they strictly come come to the fashionable and aristocratic circle the literature most of the those are the high class fashionable people and aristocratic society people and in the most of the like the, the uh, they are given the essay of the sort you can see still in addition they appeal to the middle class sentimentalism and then that Okay friends, we discuss about the literary tendency or characteristic of the classical, neoclassical is or is of Popper. These are the is of Rosen, Rizal, Second Satire, or classical is for literature of the town. And we can understand this thing. Okay, thank you. Goodbye.